Yeehaw. Hey guys, so I'm back. I really wanted just to do a quick, I don't know if it's really quick, but one of my like makeup off let's talk type things, but not necessarily makeup off. I just did this makeup. So I did a poll on Instagram and I said, ask me whatever you want. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people actually uh, were messaging me and giving me questions. So I'm gonna go over just a couple of them because I do, I would like to share some of them. Some of them are general questions. Some of them are personal questions. Some of them are just really, really nice comments and I just love my family and friends. Those are all posts to me. So if you guys want to see my questions or hear them, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, uh, the first question that I have, what are your go-tos for self-care? So self-skincare, I'm still going in and out of certain products. A couple of products that I definitely have stuck with is, or I guess on in brands, there's like the Tatcha uh, Deep Facial Cleanse. It has like little tiny kind of exfoliants in it. That has been really, really sensitive for my sensitive skin. Um, and then honestly, everything First Aid Beauty, I really, really, I have their humongous jar of moisturizer. I use it every night. I am a very oily person, but it does, after I get out of the shower, obviously I assume after everybody gets out of the shower, your skin just gets really dry. And it does a great job of not just completely, like my face, my skin doesn't just completely suck all the uh, moisture that I put on, uh, the moisturizer that I put on. So it actually stays in the night and then I wake up and I do feel like, you know, my face recharged overnight, honestly. So um, I really like uh, both of those things. Tatcha Lotus is super expensive, so like I have like little samples here and there. I have bought two full-size products of the First Aid Beauty. They are a little pricey as well, but I feel that both are extremely worth it. Again, I am still kind of going back and forth with certain things. I'm scared to use toner right now. So um, First Aid Beauty does have a toner, like toner pads to use and it is good for my sensitive skin however i still feel that it just makes it so red and i don't know if that's just a a normal reaction i can't really find a specific person with like some people say you know that they have rosacea and stuff which that's kind of what i follow too but they have it all over their face and my skin i mean just like right here like on the balls of my cheeks or whatever you want to call it um so so thin super thin so it's hard for me to put anything on it without it just burning you know something that i can kind of tolerate but after a while it's just like okay i'm i'm just scarred so to speak from using any type of toner but i have i've used um clinique clinique has really really good specific skin type of products first aid beauty and tatcha those would be like my go to three go to three different brands. I know that there are like Drunk Elephant, that's super expensive, but I do have like a moisturizer. I have this Proteiny, I'm not even gonna pronounce this, cream, and it's really good. I mean, it's a cream, it's very, very lightweight. And then I've used this uh, Jelly Cleanser, again, lightweight, it's good. I don't see anything that screams out that it needs my attention. So, mm, People rave about it. I know a ton of people who love this stuff, but it's not like paying my bills and doing my laundry. So I'm just like, it's nice, but your girl can't pay $80 for a tissue that's labeled drunk elephant. Anyway, my first, just, I mean, my beautiful friend, why are you so beautiful, Loka? And if you're watching this, that's all I'll say. You know, you know who you are. Um, another question gosh, I didn't even read this one. Another question, are you the twerk queen master of all time? No, I'm not. And I am proud, not proud, I have competed for it in the past. I swear to you, there was in, um, down where I used to live, there were these tiny little clubs trying to do big, you know, just like the places that are like open for like six months or whatever. And there was a competition, there was a twerk competition and um, your girl got cheated out, like 1,000%. It was me and this other girl. I was twerking it to the heavens. And the person who we were dancing on or whatever, I think it was like their birthday. And um, the person that we were dancing on knew the other person who I was competing with, and so they won. Anyway, 
No, I'm not. Um, sadly, it has to be like, oh gosh, Lizzo maybe? She's twerk queen. Who are my twerk like goals? There's actually a girl on Instagram and she like does workouts of twerking and she's a goal. Um, next question, which type of lipstick is your fave? Liquid, matte, gloss, etc. So I have very dry lips. I constantly, if I get, if I showed you my purse right now, I would pull out four of the same brand chapstick. I get very paranoid if I don't have a chapstick on me. That and I like to put things in my pocket and carry it with me sometimes. So my lips get very, very dry. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a huge matte person. My lips, I mean, like if you look at my lips right now, I don't know how much you can see. Let me zoom in. So if you look at my lips right now, they're super crusty. They're super crusty. Like, they're very wrinkly, um, and they're just super crusty. So I don't, I'm not a huge matte person. I will sometimes throw matte on, I mean very rare. I would say gloss is honestly, are like the velvety material. So like right now, I would, I would think that maybe my favorite brand, my two go-to brands are MAC. If that was probably my first love in makeup was lipstick, was MAC lipstick. Whenever Kylie Jenner, I don't really know if it was like whenever she started filling in her lips or what, but she wore the color Faux by MAC and ever since, I've loved it ever since. It's like a pink, um, mauve so pretty. I love it so much. I go into more MAC uh, products now. I have, if you saw my drawer right now, my lipstick, I have some Milani, I have Dose of Colors, what is this, Colourpop, I have NYX, I have um, ELF, ELF has really really good cheap uh, lipstick, but I like a velvety lip, not too glossy, so I pulled this gloss out because I was going to say, oh yeah, I like gloss too, but this is so thick, ladies and gents. You guys know when you're putting on lip gloss, you are making the decision of having hair in your lipstick or lip gloss or whatever and pulling it out the entire day. Like you're making that sacrifice. The second that you put it on, you're saying, I know that I will have to pull my hair out of my lips all day. So gloss, I mean, when it's sometimes, if it's in an emergency situation, because again, my lips get really dry, so I will gloss it. Sometimes I mean just like a touch, but um, MAC velvet lips. Yeah, and then my favorite color is faux. And actually right now um, I've been using this Honey Love. I've been using Honey Love a lot and Whirl together. And I like these colors. It's like my nude go-to. Uh, next question, uh, who is your best friend besides Priscilla? I have my best friend, her name is Priscilla. We have been best friends. We have like officially we've started best friending in college. Her old roommate moved out and I moved in. So we became best friends then. And uh, she's been my best friend for like probably, gosh, maybe 10 years now. Like my best friend, we're both Pisces. We just read each other's minds. She, I live everything out through her. I won't speak for her of how much she loves me, but she loves me a lot. And the person who's asking this, I feel like she's asking because she wants to be named it, which girl, you know, I won't even name you. You know, like when it's the four of us, it's it's you and me. You know. But recently moving um, an hour away from home, and Priscilla lives back down where I grew up. I have recently, I'd say maybe in the past two years, my other friend Rachel. She's like, oh my gosh, everything that I strive to be. She's my goal. You know that one person who you just like, oh my gosh, like how do you? function and how are you like how are you able to do all of this and and not just go batshit crazy which she's told me you know that she has her moments everybody does but Priscilla and Rachel and then um so next question oh how are you so beautiful Kelsey stop it I love you uh what is your favorite drugstore product can I say brushes I mean I I have like maybe 20 plus Morphe brushes. As far as drugstore, I guess I would also say Morphe with like eyeshadow palettes too. So like the one thing that I heavily buy are, gosh, it would have to be between, I've been using Kiss or um, Allure lashes. 
I don't even, I can't even tell you. Only. I have been using these for 15 years. Gosh, I've been using these for a long time. I've been using probably these same types. Like they, they've obviously adjusted like how they look sometimes, but the same, I literally go for kiss number 11 or now that I'm on the spot, I can't think of it. Oh, Ardell, I said Allure, I meant Ardell. Oh, they were like 211 Wispies or something. Those are, those are like my top two for um, eyelashes. Gosh, and my favorite product. I mean, it has to be between my, the lashes, so the Kiss and Ardell, or Morphe. Morphe is very good quality. Morphe, you are, you are definitely spending the money, you know, whenever you're spending $15 on a brush, or maybe not even that much, it's $10, $12 on a brush. It's not going to be the $30 that you would spend on a MAC brush. I get that, but I'm not a complicated girl. <laughs> I don't have super complicated like wrinkles, lines. I mean, I have pores, but that doesn't really require a brush to cover it up. So uh, whenever it comes to like Morphe brushes, it does the job and it does it well. And then whenever it comes to like eyeshadow palettes, of course I'm going to spend $24 on like 30 eyeshadows. Like I spend $42 on two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I spend like 40 plus dollars on a 14 eyeshadow for Anastasia. Now I get it, you know, their their consistency is different. I get it, but I'm just saying, I, I'm gonna, if I only have 20 bucks to spend, I mean, I'm gonna spend it on bigger product. Anyway, what's one of your favorite childhood memories? Oh, this was a good one. My favorite? I Growing up, I never like thought of it. I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is my favorite. I had a lot of good big moments. My parents one year got my sister and I um, a go-kart for Christmas and that was really fun. And I drove that thing everywhere. I drove it everywhere. Streets, I got pulled over in it. I would go crazy in it. We lived in duplexes and then I would drive like a block up the road and there was just this plot of land and I would tear it up. Oh, it was so much fun. Gosh, I would go and spend time with my grandparents a lot. My grandparents live in like Northeast Arkansas and like whenever I say Northeast Arkansas, I really mean like BFE, nobody else lives there. It's a population of like 60 people. And I spent many, many weekends there. Many, many, many. It was my mom's parents. Like we were fully dedicated to going up there all the time. Sometimes I wanted to go, like now as an adult, I wish I could go back and see them all the time. I actually have them tattooed on my back, which my mom said that they would hate, but you know what? I haven't been, God has not shot down lightning on me yet, so maybe they're okay with it. <laughs> what else? I went to California with my mom, just her and I, and that was kind of cool. That was kind of like a, oh, like, so we're going on a friends trip? And I think that I talk about this in one of my other videos. My mom and I, I mean like now we're close, you know, we're close. We can have adult conversations and we can not have to talk about like, oh, you're my mom and you're my daughter. But that was like my first kind of like, oh, this is kind of a friend trip. Like that's fun. We can go do whatever, you know, we can go to hang out. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say that I have a favorite. I have a lot of really, really good memories. A lot of memories that I, I, I remember more of the bad memories, which sucks and I have worked for many years to try and get it out of my head, but because of my anxiety, it won't leave. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite bold eyeshadow color to use? Man, I love a good brown. Like people probably would say like black or blues or I really, I could dive into a brown. And I think that it because it works so well with my green eyes, I could do a dark brown and I feel like it just looks great and like it's a soft kind of smoky, but I could do like a soft brown and it could be like a normal everyday thing. I could just brown and put some brown in my crease. What's your favorite bold eye color shadow to use? Yeah, it would be brown. I really, really like browns. And then Kat Von D has a lot of good browns and then Anastasia, I used, I would, when I would wear makeup to work, I would like only use these two colors in the Modern Renaissance palette all over my lid, just on my crease, on my upper lid. Yeah, I a good brown is, is really nice. And I have one more question. If you could do a video with any other makeup artist, who would it be? 
So I'm going to assume that this is any other makeup artist in the world. So I'm not just going to limit it to YouTube. I guess I'll 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 give my YouTube one and then I will give my in the world. My YouTube one, I honestly, I mean I know that I talk, I I love Katie. I love Desi. I really would love to be their best friend though. <laughs> like their makeup is beautiful. I mean beyond beautiful. To me it's so amazing. It's beautiful. I would just love to be their best friend in general. Like if I could pick that, I would pick that. So I would choose Tati Westbrook. I would love to sit and learn from someone who's been in the industry for so long. And that's why I would also pick my next person, which, I mean, I think it's a tie. It's really a tie. Um, I would pick either Sir John. He primarily does Beyonce's makeup. Or um, Scott Barnes. And he primarily does JLo's makeup. The way that Scott Barnes looks at it, it is a mural. He first became, he, and I'm not going to get this exactly right, but how I understand it, he was a painter. So when he's doing makeup, it's really just, it's painting. But so the way that he kind of looks at it, it, it's really, really interesting to me. And then Sir John, I saw him on a Desi Perkins video. And first of all, I mean, and I talked about this in another video, he seems like the nicest person on the face of the earth. And to see that from someone who works with, and I only say this in a way because she is on such a huge platform. And so I think that seeing Sir John, you know, how humble he is and how he interacts with other people and other makeup artists and other people who are just as in love with makeup as he is and how open he is to teach and to learn. I love that. So Tati from YouTube, but Desi and Katie, please don't. I still want to be friends. And then Scott Barnes or Sir John. Those would be my like, before I die, I want it to happen. And I hope that one day that I could show them this video. And I hope that one day that when I am showing them this video that I'm one, not terrified to show them this and two, that I didn't just say something that was really stupid. Okay, that is it for the questions. Thank you guys so much for asking the questions. You know who you are. Thank you for being my support system. You guys, I love you, honestly. You guys help me make these videos. So thank you so much. But that is it for my questions. I will have more things like that on my Twitter and on my Instagram. Both are Emily Say, Emily S-A-Y-Y-Y. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, make sure to comment down below what you guys think, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Look at my twerk skills. <laughs>